So tip number one, you want to negotiate a lower rent that you can afford. Now, when it's time for your lease renewal, definitely reach out to your property owners at least 30 days, 30 to 60 days before to negotiate a lower rent that you can afford and then also what works for them. Now, if they decline, then at least you have advance notice you have to move out of your apartment. If they accept, then by all means continue to rent there. But you want to get ahead of it. You want to have the conversation before. Um, it's really to your benefit if you are a paying tenant, you pay on time, you pay in full, and you're always communicating um, your stance. That's really important. Number two, if you are in a scenario where you're in a rent stabilized building and they're doing this, they're increasing your rent by let's say five, six hundred dollars to market rate, depending on what type of apartment you have. Let's say you have a uh, two bedroom apartment that's twenty three hundred and now they want to push it to twenty five, which makes it market rate, right? Technically, they can do that. And when it becomes market rate, I'm going to tell you, to be honest, the following year, they're going to increase it again. Now, I'm not going to provide legal advice because I am not a lawyer. I am not an attorney. So this is not legal advice. However, there are resources on nyc.gov that are is publicly available to everyone. There are in, there's information regarding tenants' rights, regarding uh, legal rates in, increases, and any sort of announcements or notices regarding renting apartments in New York City on the NYC.gov website or HPD website. Everything is publicly available. I have the links in the description down below so that you are aware and you know how to anticipate any of these events happening to you. So again, thank you so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.